Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. No other intervention has helped me more than starting a strict exercise routine. So a friend of mine got me going to the gym, and that's what led to a series of step improvements and uh, a series of research into schizophrenia that allowed me to continue to improve. But it all began uh, with some exercise. Well, a little bit before the exercise, I lost some weight uh, doing calorie counting. Uh, and then I started an exercise program. My mental health, my mental cognition, my ability to think improved. And I used those improvements to improve other areas of my life. So there's really no more important intervention you can do to get started on your journey for every recovery from schizophrenia than to start an exercise routine. And we're going to go through a series of uh, three studies today that demonstrate the effectiveness of starting an exercise routine and improving your symptoms of schizophrenia. Uh, so let's get started. So the first uh, study I'll mention is a meta-analysis of cognition uh, taken from 10 studies. And they did aerobic exercise uh, with some weight training. And uh, in the studies, they did an average of three times a week for 20 to 60 minutes each session of exercise. So three times a week for 20 to 60 minutes of exercise uh, for an average of three months. So do keep with it. If you don't see benefits in the first month, uh, you should see some benefits in the first month, but if you keep with it for three or four months, uh, you should definitely see more benefits as time goes on. So don't give up too early. Uh, and in this study, um, they did a whole bunch of cognitive tests in these studies, and there was a 30% average improvement almost across the board of all areas of uh, cognitive uh, ability. Um, so that's a great improvement to your ability to think. A 30% improvement is really quite uh, massive. It's huge. Uh, uh, just a little note here, the Phil Maffetone method of slow cardio may be the best form of aerobic exercise. So a slow and steady cargo, uh, cardio for a long period of time uh, or trying to achieve a target heart rate is the Phil Maffetone method. And that works out your energy production cell or your mitochondria. And that leads to improvements in mitochondria health and, and a, your ability to um, uh, generate energy aerobically uh, through breathing. But really any form of exercise, if you do interval training or if you do slow and steady, both of those things should lead to improvement. Another study here had a 51% reduction in your PAN score, your positive and negative symptom score of schizophrenia, though 10% could be placebo. That still is a 41% improvement to your positive and negative symptoms of schizophrenia, which is a large improvement in this study. They did one one-hour session every 1.4 days for six weeks. So that's um, two exercise uh, sessions every three days. So two out of three days they were exercising. And they did two weeks with instructors and four weeks done on their own. Uh, uh, Self-propelled, um, uh, self-driven exercises. The type of exercise, unfortunately, was not given in this study. Uh, I did send an, an email to the researcher, but they did not get back to me as of posting this. And the effects really started to rapidly improve at six weeks. So again, try and keep at it for more than a month and you should see uh, more improvements. And when I started exercising, it was around two and a half months in that I really started to see improvements 
to my cognition. Another study here had a 22% reduction in your positive and neg negative symptom score of schizophrenia, though 10% could be placebo again. Uh, they did brisk walking, jogging, and standing and sitting exercises with some relaxation techniques, and they based it on a middle school or high school gym class. Um, so that was the methodology of the study, and they did one hour a day of exercise for five days a week for four months, three weeks with instruction, and three months uh, without. Uh, so here, these studies demonstrate that there are great improvements to your cognitive function with an exercise routine and that there are reductions in your positive and negative symptoms of schizophrenia. So do consider uh, either um, going to a gym, which is what I began with. I went to a gym with a friend. Uh, or uh, doing t uh, YouTube exercises on the TV. Or getting a Nintendo Switch and following along. I think they have uh, video games that have guided exercises on the Nintendo Switch. Or you can go for a run and do some push-ups and sit-ups. That's what I've been doing for the past two years is running, though I am getting back into the gym routine now that things are opening up. But uh, it is interesting that in my niacin video, I actually talk about how um, exercise, aerobic exercise, and even more than aerobic exercise, weight training affects the same pathway as niacin does. And if you watch that niacin video, there are a lot of benefits to taking niacin and increasing your recovery rate. So exercise may be another way you can affect the niacin pathway, which niacin increases NAD and exercise and weight training also increase NAD. And NAD is a major component in the energy production um, mechanism known as the Krebs cycle, which is your main energy production um, method for your body. Anyway, uh, do consider uh, starting an exercise routine. If you're overweight, you can either lose some weight first or you can start exercising and lose weight concurrently at the same time. But um, exercise has been shown to effectively ameliorate many of your symptoms of schizophrenia and bring you back to a cognitive shape that you were in perhaps before schizophrenia onset. So it uh, gets rid of a lot of the cognitive deficits that occur since the beginning of schizophrenia. Once again, uh, references are in the description, so you can take a look there. Thank you for watching. I hope you learned something. I hope you found this uh, video beneficial, and take care everyone. Thank you. Bye.